<laughs> Welcome to my video today! Ta -da! Hi! This is Kimberly. Hi guys. And she is a what? Pharmacist, blogger, IGTV. Whatever it is on social media. Yes, just she having does, fun. exactly. So today we're going to go to Kew Gardens, yeah. which actually is one of the timeouts lists. So oh, I'm is. killing two birds with one stone here. Actually three, hanging out with you, yeah. doing time out, and also this video. So do you want to tell them what we're going to be filming today? Okay, so we're going to be filming what we love and hate about um, being a pharmacist. So I'm in hospital pharmacy and she's in hospital pharmacy, but she also has experience in um, community pharmacy. So it's just a general, like what we think about this whole profession. Yeah, exactly. We'll talk to you about how we met as well, but throughout the yeah. day we're just going to go to Q and film and just take you to Q whilst also bringing take in... Take you to Q. <laughs> <laughs> whilst also bringing in like pharmacy, because I think a lot of the people who view this, this channel are budding pharmacists or pharmacy students or all that, so yeah. And I think it would be very helpful because when we were pharmacy students, we didn't know what to expect. We didn't have anyone That's to turn so to. That's so true. We didn't, did you have you? Did you even have you? Did we have YouTube then? No. I can't even like, remember. I don't even remember like YouTubing like how to apply for pre how yeah. to apply for hospital pharmacy. Exactly, exactly. So if you want any tips, just keep watching and follow her on YouTube. So we've come to my favourite cafe, obviously. Yeah. We got um, a latte and a soy flat white. So basically, I just wanted you to explain the story about how we met. Okay. We both studied pharmacy, obviously you know. We met in an interview in Manchester. So we kind of hit it off. I was like, oh, this is a really pretty girl. Let's be friends. So this is what, 2012? Yeah. 2012, that's what, seven years ago? Yeah. Oh my goodness. And we had this thing we had to meet every year. So yeah. At least once, we have to meet at least once every year, so... No, no, but you have to say, basically, after we met for interview, um, we both rejected Manchester, even yeah. though they both gave us offers, they gave us offers, both. I think because it was raining that day, it didn't yeah. leave a good impression, yeah. the labs were just dark and gloomy, it was yeah. like, no, this can't be it. So although we met for the Manchester interview, randomly, we both said no to Manchester, and then Kimberly went to UCL, and then I went to KCL, yeah. so, so we, we were competitors. But we stayed in London. Yeah. So we met each other every year. And like a yearly annual catch up, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, like we had to. And now we're just going to enjoy this coffee and then yeah. get to queue. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So what I need to explain is that Kimberly's written down five things she loves about being a pharmacist, right? Yeah. And I've written down what I love about being a pharmacist. I've not heard hers yet. So how it's going to go is Kimberly's going to tell us mm. and then if it's the same as mine, I'll chip in and if it's not, then I'm just going to explain mine at the end. So do you want to tell us the first thing that you actually enjoy about being a pharmacist? Okay, so I think all of you know I'm a hospital pharmacist. So what I like is the clinical role we have. So I think what people don't know what we do is like we screen drug charts, we um, supply for medication even though we don't have that in the area just try and get whatever we can for the patients. Being a clinical pharmacist, I would say, is actually quite satisfying. Yeah. That like you get to see so many things. Every day is like a whole new challenge. So what you're saying is, you have something to learn every day, right? Yeah. Like you constantly see something new every day. It's not like an office job that you just do the same thing every single day. So you don't get bored. You actually get really busy you don't even count the hours going by so that's why i like the one thing like you're constantly busy do you know what that's actually one of mine we do have the same answer yeah. so i said that um basically you learn something new every day yeah. so there's constantly stuff to learn and there's no end to it yeah which is a good thing I'm absolutely loving Q. I was thinking it's so picturesque. It's like a tiny little village, right? And then I freaking saw. Ta da! Do you want to go work there? <laughs> we, I would love to work in Lloyd's. Should we go to the ship right now? <laughs> Let's do locoming. <laughs> that brings me to wanting to ask you what is your second point? What do you love about pharmacy number two? Okay, second point definitely is working in a multidisciplinary team. So you work with physicians, um, nurses, other like clinical pharmacists in diff different specialties. 
So that's what I like because you basically have like a role to play in that team to give like um, suggestions on the best treatments for the specific patient. So you have that clinical um, expertise in that area. So I feel very appreciated in that sense. So you're saying that the second thing that you love about pharmacy is the fact that you can work with different different members of staff. Yeah, and I know in banks and um, in other companies you do that as well, but in the healthcare profession, that's why I chose hospital pharmacy. Because community pharmacy, you do get to work with different people, but it's not as much um, clinical contact to other healthcare professionals. Yeah. So that's why hospital pharmacy is my choice as well. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Follow us to Kew Gardens. Okay, not, not into a van. Not into the truck. <laughs> not into the truck. <laughs>
and it's really according to self-interest what you feel like doing you can just ask and everyone's always willing to teach and are willing to let you shadow them so you're saying you can kind of learn whatever you want to learn is that what you're trying to say yeah that there's no limit to what you want to learn and what you want to see you can see a c-section you can see surgery but obviously you need to go through like proper induction the sky is your limit yeah We're going up these stairs. So tell me. So there's a few that I have thought of that Kimberly didn't mention. And mm -hmm. the first thing that I want to say that I love about Farmsy is the flexibility of it. Just how you can have a full-time job and a community. Like if you're a hospital pharmacist, you could do community pharmacy on the side. I yeah. always sell this point. I think keep your foot in both doors. Yeah. And you, yeah, you can, you can. The fact that you can top up and do more work if you want to, that the choice is there. I completely agree. It's such a luxury. So we've just been to that freaking greenhouse thing. Is it a greenhouse? I don't know what it's called. I think I shot like what it was when we entered. I think it's called Palm House. So there was a lot of palm trees and I felt like I was in Malaysia. <laughs> we went up to the top and when they said hot air rises, they're not it kidding. It freaking <laughs> rises. Like our makeup, like my makeup is falling down my face. It's dripping oh. off. It's crazy. If you don't like working out and you want to go to a free sauna, that's, yeah. <laughs> come you, to Kew Gardens and go up to the top. Exactly. And the palm exactly, house. Exactly. Exactly. You can sweat off all of your hopes and dreams. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> So I'm going to add another one here. So another thing I love about pharmacy actually mm. is how clean it is. So oh, yeah. we are the only profession in health, well not the only, but it's one right of the now. main mm. only professions in healthcare that, like, that doesn't actually, we can touch the patient, but like we rarely do, mm. right? So like nurses, they have to look at the Bristol stool chart and look at like what kind of poo you've had. Yeah. Um, obviously doctors, they'll be touching you, touching your stomach, doing PRs and stuff. We don't do that. We don't. I think the only disgusting thing that we do is like go to a patient's medications and <laughs> you think, yeah. you know, sometimes even I had to go yeah. like through their bags I'm like yeah I'm gonna get the nurse to come and check that out for you so we've I've had to have um, gloves on before mm. like when when going through the oh yeah back I use a pen and just like yeah because some people they have like I had one guy who he had old fish and chips mixed with his medication so we were it was like in a blue bag and we were like what is this blue bag it smells really weird and he was like oh yeah sorry i forgot about that that's my fish and chips so that was interesting oh, but working for that nhs you really see a lot of things that you're just like wow <laughs> but how does that even happen but the advantage of pharmacy is is that it's generally a clean profession i would I say agree. so if you are squeamish like me and, and you feel a bit like faint when you see yeah. blood yeah exactly then it's a perfect profession for you so another thing that i absolutely love about pharmacy is the fact that it is a license mm. and so it's quite well respected so unless you kill somebody unless okay, you order drugs them, <laughs> pray to god I'm, this is not a joke like i actually believe in god um unless you kill someone no one can take that license away from you and other than Brexit and a whole range of other political issues going on in the world, um, you used to be able to take that license anywhere. Mm. And yet, like, you can't really do that as much anymore because you've got to do like conversion exams and stuff. But still, like, it is recognised as a good profession. And so that is one of the things that I love about being a pharmacist. Yay! I want to know your opinion on this. Mm -hmm. But one of my good points was that the salary is not bad. Well... <laughs> Um, <laughs> that's so we're gonna film a video on like what we hate about okay oh. not what we dislike about pharmacy yeah I wouldn't say hate. don't tell me that's one of your points that's one of my points that is so funny well, we don't come into NHS for money but yeah. in the long term I will leave that answer for part what two I dislike. yeah okay that's fair enough but my good point is it's still it's okay like I feel like it's complaining a lot if I'm like it's not enough because um, mm -hmm. a lot of the time I, I do say that but really it's a good job, it's nice and stable, and the salary is not bad, so okay. that's one of my It's not bad, ones. it's not bad, but it's not like, wow, you're earning so much as a pharmacist. Yeah, that, that's for sure, that's true. Yeah. 
Okay, another thing I love about pharmacy mm -hmm. is the versatility of it. So you can go into industry, you can, I've got a friend in industry, I've got a friend in community pharmacy, I've got a friend in hospital pharmacy, and uh, you can go into GP, you can go into teaching, you can go back into academia. There's so, so much true. stuff that you can do That's after so you've true. gotten that degree. But honestly, like when I was in university, I didn't think about that much. I was like, oh, is it just hospital or community? But there's so much that you can do now yeah. that you're in it. Exactly. You know. Exactly. Okay, so this is my last one. It's basically about how you can have direct patient contact. Yeah. So in hospital, you can counsel them directly on their medication. And in community, that's the same thing through NMS, MURs. And what I like is that you are that person who's directly speaking to the patient and being like, this is why you're on a medication, this is why it's good for you, this is the long-term effect of this medication, these are the side effects. It's, it's basically like providing a service. Yeah. So we are giving a service to patients, like giving information. It's about controlling um, what they're taking. Like they are in self-control because you're just giving them the information. You're not forcing them to take the medication. Exactly. You're empowering patients. Wow. <laughs> wow, you, you're selling pharmacy right now. Uh, so yeah, that's it for our video that's for it. why we love pharmacy. And make sure you watch the second part, which is going to be what we dislike about pharmacy. Why we hate it. Stay tuned. Got it. <laughs>